Hi guys, so yes, um, WWE Super Showdown has just finished, like under an hour ago here in the UK, because we got it nice and early, of course, because it was in Australia, and um, yeah, it was a really, really good show, I really enjoyed it, I think this is probably one of the best shows you had this year, even though, you know, just like it was Great Royal Rumble, it's another massive glorified house show, but I really enjoyed it, you know, in front of 70,000 people in Melbourne, Australia, and we had a really fun show, I think there were some really good matches, really good moments, and I think it was up there, one of the best and most entertaining shows we've had this year, easily. A tag team match for the Smackdown, Smackdown Tag Team Championships, yes, between The New Day and The, uh, the Bar. Um... Was was fine. It wasn't nothing much, much to say here. It was, it was only nine and a half minutes. Um, yeah, had a few good spots here and there, but yeah, just not a lot to say about this match. It, it was fine. It was fine. But um, yeah, New Day retain. Um, and yeah, um, yeah. Obviously, I predicted New Day to retain. It was a decent enough match, but yeah, of course, New Day were going to retain. I don't think they're, they're, they're losing the belts yet. Not for a while. I do. Th there's only one team I want to see beat the New Day, and that is Sanity. I would love to see Sanity, because they've done nothing on SmackDown Live so far. Um, so yeah, I want to see Sanity beat the New Day soon, definitely. A singles match for the WWE SmackDown Women's Championship. Yes, we had two SmackDown title matches to kick off the show. Um, this was, of course, um, Becky Lynch defending her belt after she won it at Hell Cell. Um, this was the Charlotte's rematch. Um, and yeah, this was a, a good, solid 10-minute match. I don't think it was quite as good as the, the Hell in a Cell match, but it still had some good spots. You know, these two know each other really well, of course. Um, great great chemistry. Um, yeah, and it was it was a fine match. The crowd were completely behind Becky. Becky was getting all the, Becky, Becky, it was great. Loving it. Um, although the, the finish was a bit, a bit rubbish. Like, Becky, Becky tries to run away with the belt. I'm like, like what? She's like, no, I can't do this. She tries to run away with it. And I'm like, Becky's so much better than that. She does it. She's so much better than that. I'm fucking here running away with the belt. She's not a coward. That's not, that's not the way they've been booking him on SmackDown. Didn't like that. No, she comes back in the ring and then Charlotte's about to hit a figure four. And she's like, oh no. And Becky's about to tap, but the belt's next to her. She, she, she just whacks Charlotte with the belt. And it ends in a disqualification. Not a great finish. I was not a big fan of that finish like, at all. Um, yeah, so Charlotte wins, but via disqualification. Yeah, bit shit. Bit, bit of a shit finish, but whatever. Um, Becky Lynch is still champion, but yeah, not, not a great finish to her first defence. Um, but yeah, I've got a feeling Charlotte might get another match at Evolution and uh, might win it back, which I'm not big on, but we will see, but we will see. It was fine, but of course, after the match, uh, Becky just attacks Charlotte, she's just whacking up against the barricade. So um, yeah, they're continuing the feud, I guess, and it's going to continue, I guess, to uh, Evolution. Yeah. Next match we had was a tag team match. Um, just a tag team match. Um, Elias and Kevin Owens up against Bobby Lashley and John Cena. Yes, um, so Elias and KO, they kicked off the match, basically. Just doing a little concert. Um, Elias playing the guitar. They're just both sitting there. It was great. It was fun. And then out comes Bobby Lashley. So, like, no reaction whatsoever. Yeah, <laughs> poor Bobby Lashley. And then out comes John Cena. And away he gets a big pop, of course, because this is, this is John Cena's first match back since uh, Greatest Royal Rumble. And um, yeah, it was great to see him back. He looks looks in quite really good in ring shape. And um, yeah, he's got a full head of hair now, like really, really full head of hair. It looked looked really weird. It was fine. It was just a ten minute tag team match, really. Um, basically, Bobby starts. Bobby's just dominating KO with Elias for like five minutes, but then they then they start to get the advantage. And um, yeah, I knew it. they're just building up to the hot tag for John Cena, where he can win. It was obvious. And um, yeah, they start. They start to beat up uh, Bobby. Bobby Lashley. Then oh, he gets a hot. He gets a hot tag, and then uh, in comes John Cena. Um, as you say, the wank, the five knuckle shuffle. <laughs> um, yep. Poof, AA. And then he hits his, his new move, the six moves of this thing where he does that and just goes boom. He hits Elias with it. One, two, three. I'm like, what's this? It's like, it's like a KO punch. It, it's rubbish. Can we just stick to the AA, John? That. What is that? Him just going, oh, you <laughs> he just punches Elias, done, one, uh, done, yeah, no, that was it, I was like, that was a bit shit, but whatever, uh, at least John Cena's back, and then, then he cuts a big promo in the ring, um, he's like, yeah, thank you guys, thank you, it's been a pleasure to perform in front of all these 70,000 people, so it's like, is this like John Cena's like saying goodbye or something, like, or like he's winding down the career, obviously, because we all know he's, he's going to retire soonish, don't we, he's, he's winding down his career, and yes, yeah, so him and Elias, him and, him and Bobby Lashley, like, yeah, so that, that was that, whatever. Underwhelming tag team match we got was the the iconics. Yes, of course, making their making their coming back to their home country got a big pop. Billy Kane, Peyton Royce up against Asuka and Naomi, the Empress and the Glow. What a name! 
Um, yeah, not much to say here. It was probably the weakest match of the night. Only five minutes. Um, it, yeah, it was just there. It wasn't very entertaining. It didn't really like it. And, and the Iconics won. <laughs> what? The Iconics beat Naomi and Asuka? Oh. But luckily it was Naomi who took the pin, not Asuka, thank God. Um, she's been hurt enough this year. Yeah, but the Icon I guess they wanted to give them a home hometown pop and a home country pop, but doesn't really do much to help Asuka, does it? She just lost again, even though she didn't get the pin, but yeah, I didn't. I, honestly, I was, I, was on my, I was on my phone for half this match, didn't give a crap, whatever. The first four matches weren't great. Just I kind of like Greatest Royal Rumble. The first four matches, they weren't great. Like, under, not mostly 10, 10 5 minute matches, but then we got onto the best, probably, match of the night easily. AJ Styles defending his belt up against Samoa Joe. Yes, the third match these two have had now. They had a match at SummerSlam called Hell in a Cell, and now the final chapter at Greatest Royal Rumble. Greatest Royal Rumble, the final chapter at Super Showdown. And, uh, Wow, <laughs> this was great. I loved it. Really good match. It was 23 and a half minutes and it was just it was just chaos. There was chair spots, there was lad not ladders, chair spots, there was um, table spots, all sorts going on in this match. It was brutal. Joe was honestly dominating um, AJ for like the first 10 minutes, but then AJ started to come back and get up a few moves of his own. Um, loads of chair shots. Ah, trying to get trick getting his revenge on Joe. There was a really good spot where Joe like hits a Uranagi from the corner. Boom! Onto a steel chair. I was like, ooh! And there was a really good spot where the, um, AJ like throws... Um, AJ throws Joe through a table. <laughs> and it hits his leg. It was so many good spots. AJ Frank was all bloody. Some really good spots here. That was probably the best match these two have had out of the three matches they've had on pay per view. Um, really good match. Um, and yeah, I was like, oh. And Joe, there was quite a few times where Joe slipped into a cleaning club. I was like, oh my god, is Joe actually going to win it? I was like, oh. But it wasn't to be. And yeah, he, he did tease the muscle buster again, like he did the first two times. But his, his, he apparently, because he, he was, his, his leg was hit, he couldn't hit, he couldn't hit it again properly. So. Yeah, and then AJ took, AJ took advantage of that. Calf crusher, and damn it, Samoa Joe taps out. Oh, I'm sad, I'm gutted, because this is, well, it's the end of the feud. Um, and it's been a great feud, you know, it's been a really good feud between AJ and Joe. Um, even though if, even though Joe didn't win the belt, which I'm, I'm kind of sad about, but it's been a really good feud. Um, Joe, it's been so personal, so great. And the matches, all three matches at SummerSlam, Hell in a Cell, and Superstar Showdown, have been really good, really enjoyed them. Um, and yeah, even though I'm sad Joe didn't win, there were there were three great matches and AJ, AJ needed them, you know, because AJ's title run was getting a bit stale after the whole Shinsuke feud, so I think he needed this big feud of Joe to revive it back up, even though, even if the WWE Championship isn't as, as prestigious as it once once was, you know, because it hasn't main evented the pay-per-view since Vaseline in February, now on every single pay-per-view, it's just in the mid-card. I mean, this was in the middle of the card and it's the WWE title. Yeah, but whatever. And then what's next for Joe? Um, I don't know, maybe a feud of Shinsuke for the US title or something? Yeah. Yeah, whatever. We'll see. But yeah, yeah, that was that. A uh, six-woman tag team match. Um, yep, of course, the Bellas and Ronda Rousey up against the Riot Squad. Um, not much to say. I wasn't that bothered about this match, really. As much as I love Ronda Rousey, uh, yeah. But I wasn't bothered. I was, I was on my phone for half this match, just, just glancing at it like that. Not much to talk about here. There was just I don't I don't even remember what that was from the match. It was that forgettable. Um, as much as I love Ronda Rousey, um, yeah. But the only good thing I can remember was was the ending. Basically, with Ronda, she hits a um, a double arm bar on Sarah Logan and Liv Morgan. That was so awesome. Like a double arm bar. Oh, they were tapping out. That, that was a really good finish. Um, and yeah, that was it. Basically, at the end, the Bellas and Ronda were like, yeah, and that was that. Um, so I assume we're gonna. Get, the rumor is we're gonna get Nikki Bella and Ronda Rousey at Evolution. Um, I'm down for that if that match happens. So. Um, We'll see. We will see. And then we got a, a very good match. Yes, we got a singles match for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. Yes, Cedric Alexander defending his belt up against Buddy Murphy. Yes, and uh, <laughs> this was really good. It was only short. It was only ten and a half minutes, but it was a good ten and a half minutes. These two couldn't wrestle. <laughs> Um, yeah, a lot, lots of great stuff in this match. Of course, Buddy Murphy got a massive pop when he came out because you know he's from, he's off, he's from Melbourne, Australia. Got a massive hometown pop. Um, Cedric Alexander defending the belt, and it was a really good match. Some great spots. There was a really good like flippy stuff, the flippy thing off the off the top rope, which Cedric hit really good. Um, Cedric, Cedric hit a lumbar check on Buddy Murphy, and Buddy kicked out. I was like, oh my god! But Cedric, Cedric was like, so I 
think that means, you know, and I was like, okay, that means Buddy's, Buddy's going to win then because he he, no one kicks out of a lumbar check. And then, yeah, Buddy hits his, um, that knee finisher he's got. One, two, three. Massive pop. Like, ah, like 70,000 people going, ah. So yeah, our new cruiserweight champion, Buddy Murphy. Yes, go Buddy. I predicted Buddy Murphy. And uh, yeah, I'm happy. Happy with this. Um, Cedric, 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 Cedric Alexander, you know, he had, he had a good reign. He defended it like, what, a bunch of times. You know, a great Royal Rumble. Um, and on two, loads, loads of 205s. So he had, he had a good run, even though it was, he was a bit dull as a champion because he hasn't got much character. Not his fault, but you know, great wrestler, Cedric Alexander. And of course, Buddy Murphy, new champion. I'm happy with this. Buddy Murphy, very underrated wrestler and very talented. And I think he's going to be a great cruiserweight champion. So I can't wait to see what's next for him. Yep, cool. The Shield and the Dogs of War. Yes, this was really good. Really good. Another great match. This was It was nearly 20 minutes, 19 minutes it was. And um, yeah. Really, really good. Really enjoyed it. It was a crazy, it was just a crazy brawl fest. Um, even though the Dogs of War did dominate the Shield for quite a lot of this match, which was which I found surprising. I, did. I mean, yeah, they didn't. The Shield didn't get a lot of offense in the first the first ten minutes. It was mostly Dogs of War, especially Braun. Um, but you know, I had some good spots. You know, they teased the Dean thing again with the Dean turning heel. Um, there was there was a point where Roman accidentally Superman punches and Dean. Like, oh my god! And then. It's just it's just um, Roman and Seth in the ring like that, and then the, the dogs of war like that, and then Dean's about to join in, and Dean's on the rope like that, and like, oh my god, is this when Dean turns heel? Because Callum was like, predicting it, and then, but no, Dean's like, no, he attacks the um, dogs of war, and yeah, they come back in the match. And at the end of the match, had some really good storytelling too, of course, where Dean was about to get hit with a running, well, by the brawn train, but then Roman counters it into a spear and saves Dean. I mean, that was a really good move. And then at the end of the match too, Dean's about to get hit with a claymore, but then no Seth comes in. So both Roman and Seth are helping Dean. Really good storytelling, like the help, they're showing them the help, that. They're showing him, stick with us, dude, we'll save you. Um, we save you. So uh, with a brotherhood. I think it was Dean Ambrose. Yeah, I think Dean Ambrose with the Dirty Deeds um, on Ziggler, I think. Yeah. So really good match. 19 minutes. Really good match. Um, no, no heel turn, of course. Dean Ambrose wasn't going to turn heel. Come on. He's staying royal to the brothers. I mean, they've released all new merch for the Shield, so they weren't, they weren't going to turn the Dean heel, even though it was a good story they were telling. Oh, yeah, this was... <laughs> I don't know what this was. So, yeah, a singles match to determine the number one contender for the WWE Champion. So, basically, who's going to face AJ? Yeah, Daniel Bryan going up against The Miz. And, um... I thought this would be, like, a big 15, 20-minute match, you know, between The Miz and Daniel Bryan. Um, again, like, we've got SummerSlam. But, no, it was two and a half minutes. There was a bunch of, like, there was a few yes kicks. There was a few things here and there. And then, Daniel Bryan... I think it was a roll-up pin. He hits a roll-up pin on Miz. One, two, three. Like two and a half minutes. <laughs> what? I was I was in shock. I was like, what the hell? I did not see that coming. That really surprised me. <laughs> so Miz is like, what, what, what? And did me that and I was like, yes, yes, yes. So a two and a half minute roll-up. <laughs> okay, fine, whatever. So we're getting Daniel Bryan and AJ Styles at Crown Jewel. Um, I'm really looking forward to that match. Yeah, I think that'll be a really good match. Even though we did get it on SmackDown Live, but it didn't have a, a clean finish that one, did it? Because I think um, someone got into, someone um, got involved. But yeah, um, I'm sure it'll be a really good match. Um, and yeah, will Daniel Bryan become the new WWE Champion? We will see. We will see in our Crown Jewel prediction video in a few weeks. <laughs> yeah, and on to the main event. Yes, we had Triple H with Shawn Michaels going up against The Undertaker and Kane. Um, and yeah, the last ever time these two legends will meet, the massive rivalry they've had across like 20 years. Um, and yeah, it all ends here in Australia. A um, big, big match, of course, had a big feud around it, all built like since ever since SummerSlam. And um, yeah, I wasn't too keen on this match at first, because like, they're quite, I mean, both of these guys, you know, are well past the prime now, all due respect, you know, they're two legends, but you know, age, I mean, all the take especially, but I was actually pretty impressed, very impressed. It was, it was 28 minutes, <laughs> 28 minutes. I mean, Undertaker's 53 years old. His, his last couple of matches have all been like, like really short, like with John's, like five minutes against John Cena at WrestleMania, like 10 minutes against Rusev at Greatest Royal Rumble, and then, then this, like a really long match. It was obviously quite slow plodding pace, of course, because Undertaker can't go that at a quick pace, can he? But had some good, good, it was good all around. They, they were fighting in the stands. Shawn Michaels got involved so much, like, oh my God. 
Like, he was camping out Triple H like every five minutes, like with fucking super kicks, like, and then Kane was like, what do we do here? Kane was just the third wheel of the match. He didn't have anything to do, apart from getting put, in, put through a table when Triple H with the elbow. But um, yeah, um, so Shawn Michaels was interfering loads. It was more like a handicap match, really, um, on Undertaker. And um, yeah, um, yeah, it was just it was just a good solid match. It was too long though. It was way too long. But I guess that at the end. But so basically, the ending of the match, I loved the ending. Um, they so basically Shawn Michaels. Um, he hits Undertaker with the sweet your music, boom, and then sweet your music into the pedigree. Just like the rest, just like the spot from WrestleMania 28, the match they had at WrestleMania 28. It's the exact same spot they played out, except that there, Undertaker kicked out. Here, he didn't. And I thought that was a really good way to end this match. What a great piece of storytelling, you know? That was the exact same spot from the WrestleMania 28 Hell in a Cell match. But Undertaker kicked out and I was like, oh, but this time Undertaker didn't kick out. And I thought that was a really good storytelling spot. They finally, Triple H finally has his win, because I don't think he's ever beaten the Undertaker. I don't think he ever has, has he? Because Undertaker beat him three times at WrestleMania. So, yeah, I don't think he ever beat... So I think this is Triple H's first win over the, over the Undertaker. I might be wrong there, but I'm not sure. But, yeah, at the end, Triple H, Triple Undertaker's like... <sighs> looks fucking exhausted. I don't blame him. And yet they all raise their hands. All four of them. Kane, Triple H, Undertaker. Like, yeah, come on. And they all, they all raise their hands over there. Like, oh, what a great move. So Undertaker's just like... Like, I don't, I mean, the end, we're like, uh, but then, oh no! You think they're all jet... They, they attack Shawn Michaels and uh, Triple H, and then, yeah, they put Shawn Michaels, chokeslam, through a table. And yeah, that's how it ends. Even though they lost, the Brothers of Destruction stand tall and they walk to the back. So yeah, is it the last time ever these two will ever meet, or will there be a much rumoured match at... Um, what was it? A much rumoured match, you know, DX versus the Brothers of Destruction at Crown Jewel. So, not the last time ever, is it? <laughs> but we'll, we'll see, but we'll see. So that was Super Showdown. I really enjoyed it. I think it was a really good show. I, <laughs> I really enjoyed it. I get started. So, um, um, yeah, AJ Styles and Samoa Joe, match of the night. Easily the best match they've had. Um, it was a 24 minute absolute slobber knocker. Um, the Dean, um, the Shield against Dogs of War, fantastic. And, uh, and Triple H and Triple H and Undertaker, while it was a bit bloated, was still a really good match. Um, but yeah, there were, and Buddy Murphy and Tredegar Khan, there was a 10 minute hit as well. But yeah, there were, there were a few hit things. I didn't, wasn't a big fan of the tag team matches. Charlotte and Becky was fine till the shit finish. Um, tag team match was forgettable. Yeah, everything else in the car was really good. Really enjoyed it. I do think it was probably one of the best paper well, shows this year. Not pay-per-view, but shows this year. Really enjoyed it. And yeah, so yeah, thank you for watching, guys. I will be back in not long, in a few weeks. Uh, I'll be back, maybe with a new guest. She, I don't, I'm not sure if she's joining me yet, but um, if not, I'll be back with Callum or someone new for um, our Evolution prediction video. Probably in about... What's that? Probably in about a week or two. Yeah. So, till then, guys. See ya.